Okay, in this problem, we're going to determine how to figure out the molecular mass or the molar mass. So it says, find the molar mass of an unknown gas collected in a flask of 342 milliliters at a pressure of 554 millimeters of mercury and a temperature of 23 degrees Celsius. The mass of the gas was found to be 2.421 grams. Okay, so we're going to use that same equation that we used a minute ago, or like we started to derive. Um, so we were originally kind of using PV equals NRT. Now we're going to use the next version of that, which was PV equals MRT over the molecular mass. So that one can give us pretty much what we need for, for solving this problem. Um, and let's kind of talk about it. So do we have a pressure? Yeah, it's 554 millimeters mercury. Do we have a volume? Yep, 342 milliliters. Do we have a mass? Yes, they gave us a mass. R, we always know. Temperature? Yep. And then what we're looking for is the molar mass. So we're actually trying to find this mm at the bottom here. So if you want to, you can rearrange this equation first and then you can plug in the numbers, all right? So mm's on the bottom, so we need to get that on the top. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by mm, and that's molecular mass. So it cancels out over here and here. And then I need to get PV on the bottom. So I divide it on both sides. So that'll get rid of it over there. And then we have it now. So now our problem, our equations, is going to be molecular mass equals MRT over PV. Okay. So now we have this equation that we can plug in some numbers. Now, before we can just plug in some numbers, unfortunately, we have to do some conversions um, because we're using R here. And R is ATM liters over moles times Kelvin. So for example, we don't have this in liters. Nothing's right, right? We have to convert everything. So let's start doing that. So first thing I'm going to convert is the milliliters. So 342 milliliters. We need to get this into liters. So 1,000 milliliters on the bottom. All right, when we divide, we'll get point three, four, two liters. All right. Um, next up is the pressure. So we have to do a pressure conversion here. 554 millimeters of mercury. All right. What's the conversion factor for millimeters of mercury? Yeah, good. 760 millimeters of mercury over or under. Um, what would go on the top here? What's our standard? What are we looking for? Yeah, exactly. One ATM. All right. And then when we plug this in, it's 554 divided by 760. And that's going to give us 0.729 because we're going with three sig figs. 0 0.729. 0 0.729 ATM. Okay, one more conversion to do. This one's the easy one. We have 23.0 Celsius. We need to add 273 to it. So we get 692 to 296 Kelvin. And now we have everything, I think, so we can plug it in. All right, so let's start plugging. Millimeters equals mass, 2.421 grams times R, okay, times the temperature, all of this is over pressure, and the volume. Okay, and you want to make sure you plug this in your calculator correctly as well. So it's 2.421 times 0 0.0821 times 
296. Hit the equal button. It's going to give you about 58.8 and then some numbers. So then you hit the divide button. 0.729. Hit enter. It's going to give you 80.7 something. And then you're going to hit divide again. 0.342. Enter. And that's going to give you 235.98. Right. So molecular mass is 200. 35.98. Um, let's talk sig figs. It looks like three is our number from above. Three sig figs. So we're going to round this to 236 um, is our molecular mass. And let's look and see what cancels out. Okay, so ATM cancels out because we have ATM here and here. Liters cancels out. We have it here and here. Kelvin. Okay, and the, then what's left is grams, and then divided by moles, which is molecular mass, so that's great. So we have grams divided by moles here. So our answer should be 300, oh, sorry, 236 grams per mole.